With the new ProPresenter Cloud, you can easily keep multiple ProPresenter machines synchronized across the internet. Now this is perfect for somebody who wants to work from home on their home computer but keep their church computer up to date. This also helps with collaboration. You can log on to cloud.ProPresenter.com and easily upload media files and download files and you don't even have to have ProPresenter installed to be a part of that collaboration. And the best part, it keeps all of your files constantly up to date. So if you update a file at home, it's going to update it on your ch church computer. And this also provides for a great backup. So let's see how this works. So inside ProPresenter, we're gonna go to ProPresenter, Preferences, then we're gonna go to the Sync tab, and you'll see Cloud. Now the first thing we need to do is log into our Cloud account. So I'm just gonna log in here. And then you'll see that it brings up our libraries that we need to link. On the left, you can see my local libraries. I have a default library, a library for students and for kids. And on the left, we have the cloud libraries that are available. Now in here, we can select to sync this with this cloud library, or we could select none for any of them if we don't wanna sync our local library with a cloud library. So this allows you to have a master machine that you have all these libraries on, and then you could go to like a student computer or a kid's computer and only synchronize the files that you want. Next, we can choose what we want to synchronize. So I'm going to go to the sync options and I can sync everything on my machine or I can synchronize individual pieces like library documents and playlists, image and video files, audio files, templates, and then user data, which includes things like masks, props, and messages. Next, we can choose how frequently we want to synchronize. If it's set to manual only, you'll need to come into preferences and hit synchronize or when you log into your account, automatically installed is the new ProPresenter Cloud app in your toolbar, and you can go up here and hit Sync. This app stays running in the background even if you close ProPresenter, so you can hit the Sync button at any time whether or not ProPresenter is running or not. The other option is to do at interval. Now this has an option for hourly or daily and it can again use the ProPresenter Cloud app in the toolbar to do those synchronizations. Next, we can select whether or not we want to allow multiple file transfers. This allows us to transfer three files uh, at a time. If you have a slower internet connection, you may not want to enable this feature. And the last option here is to prevent uploads. Now this is great for a master machine where you want it to upload and download files to the cloud, but you might have another machine where you only want it to download files and not upload anything to the cloud or any of the changes that they've made. Below that, you can see the manage area where you can see how much storage you've currently used and how many transfers you've used this month of your downloads. And the last thing you can do is actually manage your account. And when I click this, it's gonna bring us to cloud.propresenter.com. We'll need to log in with our user credentials. And in here, you'll see the exact same storage options. So how much storage we've used and how many transfers we've used. We also have the option to upgrade our account to get more storage and transfer bandwidth at any time. Below that, you'll see all of our data files. This includes things like templates and masks and our props. Below there are all of our documents in our library, and below that is all of the media. Now, as I said before, you can actually come in here and upload media directly into the cloud, or we can directly download media from the cloud. So that will get downloaded and we can use that locally. If we go back to documents, we can see a couple interesting things here. Not only can we see all of our documents and what kind they are, but we can also see when they were modified, how large they are, and we have an option to delete files. So if something makes it into the cloud that we didn't want there, we can delete it and it will remove it from all computers synchronized to this cloud account. Now the cool part about this is it actually removes them from your computer, but it doesn't fully remove it from the cloud for 30 days. So when I hit this delete button, it allows me to undelete it for up to 30 days. So I can log back in and say, oops, that was a mistake, I didn't mean to delete that, and I can undelete that file. Now again, just as a reminder, if you wanna make sure your computer's fully uh, in sync at any time, you can go to the ProPresenter Cloud app and hit synchronize. <laughs>